Now to the latest and a very bizarre story that's breaking about the Notre Dame superstar linebacker Mentai Teo and whether or not he was a victim of a bizarre hoax. Josh has been tracking this overnight. We've been talking about this story all morning. It's pretty incredible. When Deadspin first posted this yesterday afternoon, it was an absolute stunner. Elizabeth, of course, he was the star player whose heartbreaking loss of his girlfriend just before a big game made national headlines and made Mantai Teo the individual story of the college football season. But now it turns out his relationship was an elaborate hoax. Now we're going to hear from one of the Deadspin writers who uncovered this explosive story in just a moment. But first, take a look. Manti Teo, the All-American linebacker at Notre Dame, was known not just for his big hits on the field, but for his big heart off of it. <laughs> his story of overcoming the loss on the same day of his grandmother and then his girlfriend, Lene Kakua, foregoing Kakua's funeral to then play Michigan, only added to his growing legend. How would you describe your emotions on the field tonight? I mean, they were with me, you know, I miss them. The fame turned him into a contender for the Heisman, and the raw emotion humanized him. She made me promise that she said, babe, if anything happens to me, you promise that you'll stay over there and that you'll play. And that, you know, you'll honor me through the way you play. This morning, Teo and Notre Dame say that while the love and the tears were real, the girlfriend was not. And according to the sports website Deadspin, which broke the story, Lene Kakua was a hoax. And the picture we all saw of her was actually another woman who was very much alive and says she doesn't even know Teo. This was a very elaborate, very sophisticated hoax perpetrated for reasons we can't fully understand. In a statement released overnight, Teo wrote, quote, to realize that I was the victim of what was apparently someone's sick joke and constant lies was and is painful and humiliating, end quote. During this fall's football season, the Notre Dame star talked often about the girlfriend he says he knew for years. When you have somebody that you talk to every single day, that you sleep with on the phone because she's, she has, she's going through a lot of things, and all of a sudden it's silence. That silence really eats at you. ESPN reporter Gene Wojciechowski interviewed Teo in October. If Manti Teo was acting that day, then he deserves a, a, a half dozen Academy Awards for that performance. I love each and every one of you. Overnight, Notre Dame's athletic director said the school conducted an independent investigation and believes Teo. The thing I am most sad about is that the single most trusting human being I've ever met will never be able to trust in the same way again in his life. And we're now joined by Timothy Burke, one of the two authors from the sports website, Deadspin, who broke this story. What tipped you off to this story? Uh, well, we got an email uh, last week that said there's something fishy about Lene Kakua, Manti Teo's alleged girlfriend. You guys should check it out. Uh, we found different outlets reporting different days that she had died. Uh, we had stories, you know, reporting that they had met in 2009, and we, when we now know from the, the South Bend Tribune reported today, and they said, yeah, uh, Brian Teo, Manti's father, is the one who told us that they met in 2009. And we now know that, that, that that's not true, because they never met in person at all. And again, uh, this long, you mentioned a year-long hoax. The big question this morning, why would this be perpetrated at all? You know, that's a great question, Josh. And it's one of those questions that is so hard to answer. And you think about the amount of time and energy it would take to, to pull off this hoax, to be on the phone, to have someone be on the phone that wasn't his friend Ronaya, because he would have recognized his voice, presumably, to send all of these messages, these, these letters that he supposedly uh, sent her, uh, or that she sent him before every football game. All of these things to, 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 to pull this off. He would not have been able to have his own life because he would have been consumed being this fake woman who was Manti Teo's girlfriend. And so that's why I think a lot of people are very you know, suspicious when Teo says that he had no idea and he was just the sucker in this. Because, you know, why, why would somebody go to such great lengths uh, to, to, to hoax him like this? As somebody who led this investigation, do you believe that Manti Teo was not at all complicit in this hoax? Um... I, th I think that there are some questions about when he became aware of it. We expect to hear from Manti Teo soon, perhaps uh, as soon as today. What questions then for you do you need Manti Teo to answer? I want to know if he told his father 
this, this made up story about how they met in 2009. Uh, and I want to know about the story about how she used to visit him in Hawaii, if that was a, a Manti fabrication or if that's something that Brian Teo just made up to tell the press. You know, it doesn't matter to me if Manti was the victim of a hoax or if he was in on it. Uh, I really just sort of want to know the truth about how the, the media came to report these things. Because once the media reports something, it becomes part of the story, even if it's not true. So how did those things come about? Those are the questions I would want to ask Manti. You know, part of the story in this case, perhaps part of the myth. Timothy Burke of the sports website Deadspin, which broke this story. We appreciate your time this morning. Thanks, Josh.